Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Nick Bentley from North Star Games, looking at Evolution the Beginning, game by right. Dominic Krepischetz. Mm -hmm. um, sort of an evolution from Evolution. That's exactly right. Yes. Uh, with this game going to be available through Target? Target exclusively starting in August for one year and then everyone else. Okay, but not available internationally. No. I just, a few people are like, really? You're shutting us out? <laughs> yeah, You're not, not good here? But the game exists. <laughs> yes. And people can still buy it. Yes. It just needs a little more work or you wait a little while. Mm -hmm. All right. What are we doing in Evolution here? How, does, how is this? This is more like a streamlined version. Right, right. So this is a follow-up game to our game Evolution. Mm -hmm. This is Evolution The Beginning. Uh, okay. So it's faster, more streamlined. It's sort of leaner and meaner. Okay. Um, it plays very well with two players, so it's a great thing to play with your spouse. But the general concepts behind it are the same. Okay. You are building species, you're endowing them with traits so they can first of all not die, okay. and second of all, eat food. The main goal of the game That's right. is to eat as much food as possible. Because at the end of the game, all you're doing is seeing how much food you've eaten compared yeah, to Yeah, mostly. mostly. So it's food, plus all, right, all the cards in, in your ecosystem. Cards in play, cards in hand, yes, that exactly. is true. Exactly, exactly. So this is food over here, these little chips with plants on them. This board here is called the watering hole. All the herbivores in the game eat their food from this watering hole, and a little bit gets added every round. And uh, these are trait cards, and these are the heart of the game. So during the game, players build up species, which are represented themselves by face-down cards. So this is one species with three population, and you have to be able to feed all your population by putting one food on each of these or else you lose population. That's right, and at the start of each round you're only adding two. Exactly. And then a species can end up having traits in front of it that allows it to eat in different ways or protect itself or do other things as well. So now this species is a carnivore because it has a carnivore trait. And it also has a defensive trait called burrowing. Only a carnivore, uh, only a species uh, that's burrowed, only a carnivore that's burrowing can attack another burrowing critter. Okay, I can uh, be a target here. Okay, fantastic. So, um, because this is a carnivore, this species won't eat from the watering hole. Even instead, though there's lots of. Food, There's around, so much the, food around the watering but hole. But it's plant food, sadly. No, no, no. I mean, the herbivore is going oh, yes. there. Yes, 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 that's true. I see what you're saying. Like this one right here that you constructed so yeah. nicely for me. <laughs> so, uh, this carnivore will decide to attack this species, and for each attack, the species loses one population. However, this particular species has horns, so it's a nasty critter, which means that when I attack it, I lose a population as well. I get two food, for each attack that I make, that always comes from the excess food pile over here, and I put them on my populations. I'm done eating when I can't feed anymore or when there's no more food to be had. Right. So then that's the end of my turn. I put my food in my little stomach pouch, and then it's the next player's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and every turn, a player starts a new species automatically and gets three cards, and two more food is added to the water hole. Okay. We go round and around, until this deck is gone, and then whoever has the most food plus cards wins the game. Okay. So start a new one. You got Nocturnal, mm -hmm. Protect Me. You have some Flight. You can play other cards face down to add more population or keep them in your hand. Exactly. Oh, I uh, forgot to add two food. You didn't eat the food that was there. I didn't, there. I only had a carnivore. No, so hey, I can eat this as well. And now I got four. Beautiful. And it's done. Yeah. All right, and we continue until we finish the deck. Yeah, that's right. Until and well, we finish the deck, and then all players have to have taken the same number of turns. Okay. So we reshuffle the discards to finish out that. Okay. And then we add up the scores. All right. So again, add all this, add this. Yep. And, and that's done. it. So very, very straightforward. But there's a lot of strategy in the way you combine your traits and arrange your species. That's right. There's some other traits with long neck mm -hmm. to eat from the excess food, or scavenger to eat when the carnivores eat. Yep. That's right, you get the leftovers. Add more population to your species. Yep. All right. That's it. Go forward. It's an overview of evolution in the beginning from the dapper Nick Bentley. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.